Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in. Someone asked the other day if I could do some more fishing videos. I haven't really been fishing that much lately, but uh, they're kind of hard to do because I'm usually fishing alone. But today my son's going with me, so hopefully between the two of us we'll be able to catch a fish or two and maybe get something on film. I'm going to try it anyway, but we're going to be going down to the Petaluma River and uh, fishing off the fishing pier in Schollenberger Park. So um, we're going to be fishing for striped bass and we're going to be using frozen anchovies for bait. So uh, I'll show you uh, how we rig those up and then uh, we'll go down to the river and see what happens. <laughs> okay, if you've never fished with frozen anchovies, here's how they look. They're just little fish. They come in uh, one pound bags and I buy these where I live in Petaluma, CVS Pharmacy carries them. That's where I usually buy them. And also I think Dick's Sporting Goods carries them as well. Um, I think a bag is about four bucks and they're frozen. So you can just buy a couple bags and stick them in the freezer. When you go fishing, then you have them. And then uh, try to keep them frozen as long as you can because they stay on the hook much better. Once they thaw out, they're hard to keep on the hook. But uh, I'm sure there's plenty of different ways to uh, fish these, but what I like to do is get rid of the head because the fish don't really seem to like the head too much. And then I get rid of the tail as well. They don't seem like that either. And then I just cut them in half. And I use a two hook rig, a leader with two hooks, and I tie my own leaders. You can get these pre-made, but I like to tie my own. And I'm using a four aught circle hooks right now. And what I'll do is just kind of, just hook them kind of right through the back, just like that. Put one piece on each hook. And there you go. So, uh, that's the way I usually do it. I'm sure there's plenty of ways to do it, but that's what works pretty well for me. All right, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this, but here's how it looks when I'm all rigged up. I got a swivel here, one hook here, another swivel here, then another hook, and then I have my sinker at the bottom. So my total leader length is probably roughly four foot. I don't really measure anything out. I just eyeball it. So it's a little different every time I tie one, but that's how it looks. All right, we're being led to the fishing spot by this goose here. <laughs> He's our tour guide. <laughs> We've been following him for about, I don't know, a few minutes here. He just walks right along in front of us. Pretty funny. <laughs> Finally, got something. Yeah, I thought he was a lot bigger than that, but oh well. Huh? Better than nothing, though. I better than bigger, a little bit bigger than Better I than getting skunked. Cool. All right. Yeah, at least we broke the skunk. That's the main thing. How big do you think he is? I don't know, I was just going to see how I can find a measure here real quick. Uh, about 13, 12 and a half, 13. Not big enough. So that was the only fish we caught today. That one was about 13 inches. They have to be 18 to keep, so... Uh, the keeper size ones are kind of few and far between. I don't get them very often, but it's fun to get out there. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll talk to you next time.